Check out the Dragon Ranch's 5 minute quick tip video on how to install banana plugs onto your speaker wires. This makes connecting your speakers so much easier. After that, I show you how ceiling speakers are designed to stay in your ceiling. When you are done, check out the rest of the ceiling speaker installation on our channel. have been um, stripping wires so you can see here speaker wires these are the banana plugs that we're going to use and I'm just going to kind of reverse this because these are some old ones this is a really short cable that I have and I'm just reusing these because I don't have any new ones anymore so if you take these off they just screw apart these are the I'll uh, find them and put them online so you can get them if you'd like them but these are banana plugs um, from Monoprice, which is like my favorite place to get electronics. Uh, cords, HDMI cables, charging cables, uh, pretty much anything electronics. So that's what they look like when they're actually on there. And I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm just going to pull this really hard. These are just on there and pushed back. So you can see that they're not that long. You just need... Uh, just enough to get them over. I'm afraid I'm going to knock over the camera if I try and... Oh, there we go. So, that's it. So, you just have a little bit of wire exposed. You slide the tops over it, which of course is harder after they've been split like that. And then once it's exposed, you kind of splay the ends around and over it. And then when you do this, it spreads them all out and over. And then once it's tight, you'll see that it doesn't come off easily, and you have real easy connections. So uh, most of these plugs are pretty expensive. These ones, I, I don't remember off the top of my head. I think they're less than a buck a pair. You know, obviously, if you get into, um, you know, seven speakers, you got two on each end. So that does get a little more expensive. But if you like to mess around with electronics and speakers, they do make it easier. So that's just a little quick um, how to use them. They were really confusing when I got them because I didn't know that's how they work. Um, the other thing is, is obviously with these ones, all of the wire is fully covered, so you don't usually have strays or anything else like that. And then one other trick that I use is you can uh, you can see that the tops come off. Uh, if I have problems um, screwing them on because I put too much wire, I usually will go back and forth a couple times, and if that doesn't work, I can normally back this out some, which I think gives it a little room. And then uh, once I get it on, I just screw it back down so it's nice and tight. So this is just one style. There's a bunch of other ones. Uh, and I use them on both sides of the cable. There's some clips and some different options for using on uh, the receiver end or the speaker end, I guess. You know, I think there's more options for that. But that's what I like to use. Um, so when you come back, I will probably just have everything. Uh, actually, let me show you the speakers. They are not in here anymore. So let me clear these out and I'll be back and I'll show you how the speakers work and how these fit onto the speakers. All right, we are back with the back of a speaker. So this is the same speaker that I test fit and you can see uh, they have red and black markings. And when you push them in, there's a hole down there. No idea if I can do this one handed. There you go. So once the uh, once the cable is on, you just go ahead and push that down. You can see that it makes the, oops, not in the camera. You can see that it makes the connection, um, goes through, and just be careful when you're putting it up that you make sure you don't clip it as you go into the hole. And then the other piece is that it has these, uh, you can see this one probably easiest. Um, these are how they connect, and this piece flips out and it smashes between the drywall or plaster so I have plaster which is probably why I broke so many bits uh, going into it and you just unscrew it and that allows it to go up and down and when it's in this particular fashion obviously it's very easy to get in the hole and then when you start turning the screw it forces it out and then it will crimp it down until it hits and then it will be tight and uh, there's four of them on this particular speaker so again really easy to to do this kind of stuff. The hardest part is the wiring portion of it, and, and I'm not talking about hooking up the wires, I'm talking about 
running them and hiding them. So uh, it costs a lot of money if you go to a high-end audio video store. It's really not worth doing, you know, paying somebody to do this if you've got a little bit of time on your hands. So they'll charge you a bunch of money to run this. In my case, it's you got to get messy and go up in the attic. Um, if you're lucky, you may have a basement that you can use. Uh, you may be doing it from scratch. If you're doing it from scratch, then it's it's definitely worth running it yourself. Uh, you, if you can get to your exposed studs, uh, you just run the wire through. Uh, in my case, it's just running over the top, and it goes down and into my electronics closet. And there will be a, a speaker connection like this inside the closet that I just plug right into the receiver, and it's good to go. So once these are installed, uh, I'll have a I'll show you what that looks like. I might even try and clean up a little bit because I've noticed how much dust is in there and. I'm bound to get in trouble, um, despite the fact that the cutting went okay. Uh, Pickle hates all the drywall dust and is not going to be happy that I did that. But she'll get glad again. Thanks for watching this quick video. Stop on over and watch the actual cut of the ceiling on our other Dragon Ranch video. And stay tuned for additional scenes. Thanks.